Hi, welcome back to Therapy Designs. If you're new to this channel, my name is Kelly and this channel is all about print on demand everything. So if that is something that you're interested in, please do stick around. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you another product that you can uh, sell on your Etsy shop that does very well in sales and that is socks. So there's all sorts of different socks that you can make. Um, patterned socks, for example, socks with sayings. There's a lot of funny socks that have sayings on the feet, like if you can read this, bring me a glass of wine. Um, this is the one I'm gonna show you to today. This is actually from my shop and these are PT socks. And of course, because I am a physical therapist, that's that's the one that I was gonna make for you guys. Um, that's just the, the mock-up view where you can see them. But um, from the front, what we have are the, the PT socks and it's just a repeating pattern. So really simple and easy to make. And I'm gonna show you guys how you can use um, Printify and Canva to um, make these and you can sell them in your shops. So the first thing I'm gonna do is actually go over to uh, Printify and to find the socks, you can go to your catalog and it's actually under best sellers. So if you were to go to best sellers and scroll down through all of their best sellers, you will see they have some sublimation socks kind of towards the bottom here, best seller. And so these are the ones that I was using. And so if you were to click here, you've got your sublimation socks, three different sizes. Um, I can come down and hit start designing. And from here, if I was to scroll down, it's gonna give you sort of the dimensions and the sizes. So here your print area sizes right here is um, 1,348 pixels by 5,657 pixels. So that's what you're gonna want to design. And you are gonna need to do a front and a back. So the way they're doing this is there's a front leg and then a back leg. Um, and so, that's what you're kind of looking at. Now, again, you can do repeating patterns, you can do anything you want, but don't make it too generic. Again, if you're putting it on your Etsy shop, you wanna have a specific niche or sub niche that you're, you're targeting. Um, and so for this one, I was just gonna do physical therapy, but you could do pretty much anything that you want. So with these dimensions in mind, I'm gonna go ahead and jump over to Canva. I've already pulled this up here. So this is what the dimensions would look like. And I've got a front side and I've got a back side. And so it's just a really thin, long strip. Um, things to consider. One, what color are your socks going to be? So I picked a background color here for them. And so I went with just a gray sock. You can have anything as your background color, patterns as your background color, textures as your background color, but you're gonna wanna pick what the basic color of your sock will be. I'm gonna jump back and forth a little bit so you guys can see. But when I come over to the socks, if I was to go back to the catalog real quick, you can see that they're printing in this white area, but the toes are gonna to be black and the heels are going to be black. So you can pick black as your background color. That means the entire sock is going to be black. If you wanna utilize this as part of your design though, you pick a different color and it's still going to have the black heel and the black toe. So keep that in mind. That's kind of why I went with the gray because I thought it would look good with the toes and the heel being black. So back here, I picked my background color. Now I was keeping this one really simple and I just wanted to put a repeating PT design. So I made the original one and then I just, you know, duplicated it. I copied, paste, copied, paste all the way down. And then on the back side of the sock, I only put it at the top. And you'll, you'll see why if I was to go back to my example here, it did take a little bit of playing around for the placement to figure out where I wanted everything. But this is generally the sole of the sock. So I didn't want anything on the sole. This is where you would put though, if you did wanna do that writing that said, if you can read this, you know, bring me a glass of wine or something. So if you did wanna put something on the sole, you could. I went a little bit more traditional and just sort of went with the top of the sock and then the whole front side. And so if you were to go back to my final one on my Etsy shop here so that you can see it, the sole here, I left blank. And then I just had the PTs up at the top there. And so what it looked like on the mock-up image was this with the black or blank sole and then back and front. Okay, so that's what I'm looking at here. So back to this. I mean, if you're interested in this one, it's really simple and easy to do. Well, pretty much all I needed was 
two letters and a symbol. So you can do something like this very, very quickly and they just have it be repeating. So in terms of the spacing I gave it, I gave it equal spacing on the top and the bottom. One, because I wanna make sure that there's a little gap. Of course, you're gonna have some bleed, so you don't want anything going right to the edges, so try to keep it centered. And I did have to play with this a little bit to make sure that it you know, didn't cut off. So there was a little bit of back and forth in terms of my sizing to get that right. So, you know, you can play with it, but once you get it right, then you'll have your template and then it's just very easy to work within that template. Um, same thing here, I, I had my little lines here, my cutoff line. If you're curious where my cutoff lines are, um, my top line I have at 687. So if the very top of the design was zero, 687 down is my first line. My second line, which is what I cut off for the bottom of, of the sock or the back side of the sock was at 2,297. And then my bottom line here was at 4,000. 970 and so I just put those lines in. If you're not sure how to get your lines, all you have to do is put shift and R on your keyboard. So if you hit shift and R, it's gonna pull up your rulers and guides here on the top and the side, and then you can just drag from the side or drag from the top. And so that's how you will make these lines here. Once you have your design the way that you want, Real simple, you're just gonna go ahead and download them. So you're gonna do it one at a time and you're gonna need to title front and back. So I've got this titled as my front and I have this one titled as my back. So I would come up to share. I'm going to go to download. Um, I wanna keep my background color, so I'm not gonna make it transparent. I'm just gonna select the page that I want. And so for the first one, I'm just gonna select page one and I will download that. And then I'm gonna repeat the process here for the back side. So I'll go back up to share. I'm gonna hit download. I'm gonna leave everything the same. But for this one, I'm just gonna pick, um, oops, sorry. I'm just gonna pick the back and I'm going to download. And so once I've got those downloaded, I can go over to Printify. And so from here, again, we'll go to start designing. So I'm gonna go ahead and click the box on the right-hand side that says open from device. That should pull up your downloads and then from there you can go ahead and select. So you're gonna start with the front and you'll just hit open. And you'll give it a second and you'll see how this fits perfectly in here. Again, I did have to play with this a little bit to get the sizing right. Um, so once you get it, then it's really easy from that point forward, but there you go. So that's the front leg left. Now you could do different designs on different socks. So let's say you wanted to have one sock gray and the other sock black. I mean, I could do that because I can pick, you know, front and back and right and left. But assuming that I want the pair, that's pretty, you know, um, I guess symmetrical or you want both sides to be the same. I'm just gonna re-upload this now onto the front right leg as well. So I would do the same thing here. I would add my print design from my device and go ahead and do the front on that side too. So now both are gonna have the same front. And then from there, we can go ahead and go to the back. And now you can see where the back um, printing is. So it's cutting off right there where the heel piece would be. So you'll print in this area. And then this is the area I just left blank. But if you wanted to put something on the sole of your foot, that's how that would end up working. So I'm going to go ahead and now add my back design. So I'll hit um, add design from my device. It will pull up my downloads. And then from there, I'm just going to select my back one that I just made. And there it is. So I've got my two PT designs there and then the blank foot. And then one more time, I'm gonna go back right leg, repeat the process one more time. I'm gonna do back, open. And so now I've got all four of these uh, filled in. Now, one thing to consider here is that this sock actually does come in sizes. So right now I have designed for size medium. Now I can come up here and select all of the sizes, but as you can see, the different sizes now have different, um, I guess, layouts. And so you would have to do each one of these kind of individually to get it right. So I just went ahead and showed you medium, and I usually just go ahead and sell medium, and um, you know, that fits most people. So that's what I go with, but you definitely can 
kind of make your three versions and upload to each size of sock. But again, you can tell just from the, um, the template there, if I was to get rid of medium entirely, this is going to be my small template. And so you can already see that it's kind of not the same and so you'd have to play with the spacing there too so I designed specifically for the medium and so we'll go with that and so now if I was to go to preview so I can see how this looks here you've got your your preview mock-ups and so this is the mock-up that I have in my shop now what you're going to want to do is look carefully so if I'm doing it like this I want to make sure that everything lines up pretty well so for example I wouldn't want the back PTs to be shifted way down in comparison to the front, or I wouldn't want them to be looking like they're a totally different size or whatnot. So it all has to look like it's compatible. Um, and so I liked that. I liked the way that the toe and the heel worked with the, the overall color of the sock. Pretty simple. You're going to see the different, um, the different variations there. So you can get your front and back that way too. Um, I kind of don't like the way that it shows the front side upside down because for this, you know, I really wanted it to flip over. So I'm not a huge fan of the way that they have that um, shown with the sock upside down like that. That's not my favorite thumbnail. But when we do it with the pose, you can definitely see what it is. So if you wanted to go ahead and then upload this to your Etsy shop, you would go to Save Product. You would then from here select your main mock-up which i used this one right here um, we would then go ahead and title this so for my title i would probably start with physical therapy socks um, pt socks gifts for physical therapists um, physical therapy gift you know that kind of thing i can see what i actually titled it here when i did it i put physical therapy socks physical therapist gifts, gifts for physical therapists, doctor of physical therapy socks, physical therapy socks. So this would mostly be a gift that somebody would give somebody. Either you're giving it to a PT for something like Christmas, or you're a patient maybe giving it to your PT as an appreciation gift. And so you could kind of try to market that either way. And socks are a cool kind of unique gift and socks work really well on Etsy too. So that's just one, you know, one thing that you can kind of work on. I'm going to show you guys several other products that work really well on Etsy um, coming up here in the next few videos. Um, here, by the way, description, it says three different sizes. If you only pick one size like I did, you would just delete that. Um, if you do want to keep all three sizes, then of course you could leave that in there. Um, I use their shipping and now here we've got our prices here I'm gonna do a video coming up here on Etsy prices they do get a little bit complicated if you're not used to that so there's some math involved but I had it set for me I sold it at $12.99 so they suggested $12.82 of course I'm always gonna end with 99 the profit that they had was 513 of course Etsy's gonna take a large chunk of that but when we're dealing with um, kind of cheaper products you do want to keep the price relatively low um, so $12.99 seemed like a good price. I do make them pay shipping, so I don't have to worry about that. Um, I include the mock-ups. I only show um, variants that are in stock, and then you would just go ahead and hit publish, and then that's gonna publish that to your Etsy shop. So this was kind of a quick video. I just wanted to show you guys how you could go ahead and do socks. Um, if you're looking for different ideas, seriously, just go to Etsy type in you know socks and see what comes up or type in socks for mom or socks for dad or you know anything you want and it'll give you lots of different ideas of sort of different designs that you can make and the overall process would be the same as i showed you here you can of course do custom socks as well i've seen socks where people you know will put faces of pets like hey send me a picture of your dog i'll Put its face all over the socks and again the process would be the same i could just replace all of those pts with a picture of a face you know so really easy to do if you have any questions about this specifically drop it in the comment section below i'll try to get back to you as quickly as i can like i said i've got a few more videos coming up where i'm going to go over different printify products that do sell well on etsy or of course you could sell them on other platforms such as amazon via um, seller central 
Um, right now, obviously, if you're selling on merch, merch doesn't have socks as an option, which is why I kind of try to diversify what I sell on different platforms. So I sell on merch and I sell all the products that merch has. But then when I'm looking at something like Seller Central, for example, I don't necessarily want to sell shirts because they're competing with the merch shirts, which give free shipping. You'd be better off picking a different product. So on Seller Central, I sell a lot of hats, for example. So hats is a good product that I can sell on Amazon Seller Central that does not compete with merch. And then on Etsy, you're looking at more boutique style things, more custom style things. So things like socks, journals, candles, those all do really well on Etsy. So you're gonna have different products and different designs for your different shops. And of course, to make the most money, you wanna have the most uh, possibilities. So you wanna make sure that you're selling on all the platforms that you can sell on, and you wanna make sure that you're selling as many products and whatnot as you can sell. So sorry about that little rant. I hope you guys are doing good. I know we're closing out quarter four. I hope you guys all had a really great um, Black Friday and Cyber Monday. I know my Cyber Monday was pretty good on merch, so I was very happy about that. Um, we're coming down to the wire in terms of how long you can continue to sell Christmas stuff. If you're selling on something like Etsy, most of the cutoffs are gonna be around December 10th. Um, for ordering to make sure that they get it in time for Christmas. Um, so after that, you know, you're pretty much looking at selling first quarter stuff. I do have a video up right now on first quarter niches. Um, so if you haven't seen that, check out my channel because you want to start working on first quarter uh, designs. Um, so that is it. Um, I hope you guys are doing well. That's it for today's video. If you found that useful and would like to see more videos with helpful tips and tricks, be sure to hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of the weekly videos. As always, keep growing and stay creative and we'll see you next time.